sport touring bike. But when you flash it, it put the racer in tracer, baby. And that's what we got going right now, baby. I just got this thing flashed up. Dang, that's a big bump. Just got this bad boy flashed up, man. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how it feels. First off, it feel like it's shifting a lot better. It feel like the quick shifter is biting a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Definitely feeling a lot better. The uh, the pickup is way faster on it. Let's see. Let's drop down. Oh yeah, the pickup. Yeah, the pickup coming with it, baby. I don't want to go too crazy out here at 12B out here on this little route. But uh. It feels a lot more like a race bike compared to just your, you know, your average sport touring bike. This thing is actually moving now, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's picking right up. And one thing about flashing, man, like just to tell y'all, like one thing about flashing your bike and stuff, I'm going to do an episode on this on, uh, on the Six Gear Mechanical University. But one thing you gotta remember when flashing a bike is an ECU flash is basically just unlocking the bike. So the bike comes with potential. But to be able to sell these bikes on the street, you gotta dumb down the potential, right? For lack of better words. So you gotta tune it down a little bit. So to get what the bike's potential really is, meaning if you have a 600 and you want to get 600 cc's out of it, you got to get it flashed up. Now, you can get online and see a whole bunch of people getting flashes done from different people where they just show the numbers. And numbers are cool, but if you're not roll racing, drag racing, or on the track, literally, wearer racing, or damn near professional racing, then numbers i don't want to say they're pointless but they don't mean as much as you think they mean right like horsepower and like horsepower is good but for the street i'm talking for the street cats and which is you know i think most of the people that watch this channel you want to get this throttle smoothed out to where it's predictable after you're riding a while you can start feeling the difference between a bike that is tuned well, not tuned, but flashed and unflashed. Tuned is something else. I'm not going to get into that on this episode. So, for instance, uh, we started out with this bike stock. I don't know what it made stock, right? But, you know, I got the pipe on here and the uh, and no air filter or nothing like that, but I got the pipe on here, so that probably added a couple more more horsepower. And then we did the flash, right? Now the flash added about, what, three or four more horsepower. This is with the stock air filter and all of that. But the big difference is, and I was watching this on Dude Mungus page as well, um, it's not just in the top, like the, like the max horsepower. It's not just in max horsepower where the gains are. It's on that curve, and I'll show you guys on the uh, data sheet. Uh, it's that curve that uh, I guess the power curve or whatever that they have on a dyno sheet. I don't know this stuff, so forgive me for not having the uh, correct terms or whatever. But that curve on a stock bike that curve will go up and as you get higher in the rpm range it'll drop off on you you know what i'm saying so when you flash it 
that curve will go up and keep going up all the way up into the high RPMs, up into 11, 12, you know, 1300 RPMs. So my top curve gained almost 10 horsepower. Now, I don't know if you know, but 10 horsepower on a bike, especially in the top end, you can really feel that. And uh, I, mean, I haven't really got, gotten a chance to redline this bad boy, but I can tell you what, the pickup is so much faster, man. It's so much faster. We'll see if we can do something on the highway up here. Man, the engine braking is, whew, the engine braking is lovely. Oh yeah. We hit this highway up. If you anywhere in the A, you know how hectic it can get on this highway, so we ain't gonna go too crazy. But uh, you know, we wanna feel this ECU flash, baby. Oh yeah. Oh shit, this motherfucker pussy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> this thing pushing, baby. Slow down, kid. Slow down, kid. Hey. Hey, this thing pushing. Let's see this down shit. Buttery. Buttery. Let y'all hear it through the gears. See if we can get some red line action going in pretty soon, baby. We gotta see that power, baby. Damn! <laughs> hey! 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 This thing right! <laughs> hey! This is not your. <laughs> hey! This is not your average tracer family. This is not even close to your average tracer. You will get left on this tracer, family. Family. There's always somebody in front of me. I might need to pop some bangs. I might need to pop some bangs on here, B. What's up? Oh, it's getting wicked. Woo, woo, it's getting wicked, baby. Let's see. Oh, it just keep pulling. That's what he did. I figured out what you did, B. I figured out what he did. Somehow he done got in the back and said, look, when that motherfucker get on that throne, I want you to keep going to the top, baby. Check this out. Woo! Hey, man, look. Hey, look. Come on, man. Let me cool off, man. It gets wicked out here on that 75, kid. It's wicked on that 75, kid. Woo! Woo! That thing feel good. B, what you done did? B, what you done did to the chase? B, what the fuck you done did to the chase? I'm about to take this shit up there, man. I'm taking this. I'm taking it back. Hey, dial, dial it back. D flash. Hey, I need a D flash. I don't need no reflash. D-Flash. Let me slide through. Let me glide how I glide, baby. Let me glide how I glide, baby. 
I'm coming through. Ooh, now that's a ride, baby. Now that's how you ride, baby. We don't want to do nothing too crazy, man. But we do want to have us a little bit of fun. We do want to enjoy our time. I told you one time, Twill got me right there, boy. Right there. Oh, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Big bump. There go Twelvington right there. Who is that on the bike out here without proper authorization? from the uh, road commanders. Wow, that was my first highway ride with this ECU flash. This bike is dangerous, man. B, uh, if you're watching this, give me a call, man. I'm bringing this shit back, man. I need a D-flash, man. I need a D-flash, man. I need you to detune this motherfucker back down to a sport touring. You got this motherfucker riding like a R1. You got this motherfucker riding like a R1, boy. Y'all heard that little pop. Y'all heard that little pop. Oh, it's dusty over here. Good thing I waxed the bike, man. Y'all stay tuned, man, on the university. I'm gonna teach you how to keep your bike from getting, you know what I mean? Let's see if the, we flashed it up. Let's see if the cruise control still works. Oh, where my cruise control at, Cat Daddy? Ah, uh, B. Oh, I got it in third. Look, I was ready to climb. That's right, it don't work until you get in that fourth. I was ready to clown. B, let me see. Okay, A, <laughs> okay. They go 12, let me cool off. <laughs> I know if they hit that U, it's a wrap, man. I got that flash out, man. Ooh, I'll see you later, man. Come on, man, we cruising, man. I usually got Z-Boy with me, man. Z boy got that uh, what did he get? Z boy got that uh, that Van Damon. Here we go, redline it. Woo! I forgot I got that tire on here. I gotta, I gotta be smooth. Yeah, tire still running, man. We good. <laughs> Yes, sir! Let's go! Woo! Pipe, baby! Woo! Hey, getting that ECU flash is like getting a new bike, baby! Come on! I can't come around this corner too hot like I usually do. Twelve, I got hit! Twelve, I got hit, baby! We can still ride! We can still ride, baby! We can still ride, baby! Woo! Hey, man, look. Hey. Hey, when you get them bikes, they get real, man. You got so much power in here, you can loop this thing. Let me see. You got so much, woo, you got so much power in here. But that flash, man, I'm telling you, when you get the right flash, thing gonna have your bike feeling good. Now, I didn't tune the bike. Tuning is something different. That has to do with the air-fuel ratio and all that, right? We don't do none of this stuff at Six Gear Mechanical University. We take it over to the pros. But uh, this bad boy feel good unlocked, man. And they keep climbing. Like I said, that 10, that 10 horsepower. Woo! That 10 that hit at the end. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, Duck. <laughs> Come on, Duck. <laughs> so what? That wasn't the best. That wasn't the best. I'll give y'all that. That wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. I got, I got the new flash. I'm trying to get adjusted to it, man. Let's pull over and check this motherfucker out, man. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Let me see what these feeling like first. Ah, Scott Lee. This is 
is a bike you don't want to play around with, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Tracer 9 GT. When you get the flash, here's what happens to the bike. You lose the T. What does that say? Racer 9 GT, that's right. This bad boy is flashed and it's fast. Get a little walk around of this bad boy, man. Let y'all really check him out. We got the sticker back on there. Shout out to the home of the horsepower for putting me in the gizzing. <laughs> man, that bad boy looking good. If you don't look at your bike when you get off of it, you need to get a new bike today, boy. Get you a new bike today.